team is responsible for maintaining the operating system of a bunch of computers in the fleet of Google. And many of the things that we do are done through Python scripts. For example, we have a script that keeps the computer up to date, that the software is updated every day, and that's written in Python. We also have a script that checks that the computer doesn't have any specific problems, and if there is a problem, raises an alert for the user so that the user can take action. That one is also written in Python. We have a bunch of other scripts like that that run in the computers of our users that are all written in Python. One of the things I like the most about Python is that the code is really readable. You can give a piece of Python code to someone that doesn't even know how to program and most of the time they will have at least some idea of what's going on. The other thing I like about Python is that it comes with a lot of modules that do a lot of the things that we want to do already. It's been around for a while, there's a lot of people that have contributed all of these modules, so it's very likely that the thing you want to do, it's already in a module and you only have to import it and use it. No computer language is perfect. Every computer language has its advantages and disadvantages. In the case of Python, the one thing that I find the most annoying is that because it's not a compiled language, there could be errors in the code that only get detected very late in the development process. And while it's not good that all these hidden errors could be in the code, it can be mitigated by writing good tests. If you write tests and then the test can test all of the code, even if it's not hit every day, then you can be assured that your code is working successfully. That's why I think Python is great for writing small scripts that are self-contained and not for like big software projects that have a lot of infrastructure on them. Congratulations on finishing this lesson in the Google IT Automation with Python certificate. Access the full experience, including job search help, and get the official certificate by clicking the icon or the link in the description. Watch the next lesson in the course by clicking here, and subscribe to our channel for more lessons from upcoming Google Career Certificates.